Now, I never really got involved. I ended up doing tip mixtapes and Grand Hustle mixtapes and all that shit in the midst of that. Damn, it's crazy, bro. Because, like I said, there's so much there's so much to go into, bro. Mm. But let's go let's go back to... Let's finish, the though, because there's, there's yeah, timeless, yeah, go, 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 timeless go. mixtapes. Like, <laughs> I get it. I did. I was the first nigga to do a Soldier Boy mixtape. Superman? Yep. I did the first Soldier Boy mixtape. But I'm about to go there, so... You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go there. There's a lot of mixtapes, and when people start asking me, I'll fucking forget, but it's like, yeah, low, Rocco, you know what I'm saying? Me and Rocco got busy. Me and Gucci got some classics. Plies. They just said yesterday was the 10-year anniversary that Rick Ross was classic as fuck. I'm not saying it because I'm a part of it, but that Rich Forever was classic as fuck. Migos, young rich niggas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They can tell you the story you behind Travis that. Travis Porter shit too? Travis Porter, more so DJ Spins. You know what I'm saying? DJ Spins was more so there with like Travis Porter and Rich Kids and all that shit because that was more of his era. But yeah, Rocco, um, Project Pat, Juicy J. Um, so you tell going to name all these hits, right? Because this is what we're not going to do, bro. We ain't about to be on no bullshit. You're going to name all these hits. You're going to tell me. If niggas talking mixtape kings, well, you don't I, feel no way you're I, like, nah, I, you know, a year ago during the pand- pandemic, they went through their whole mixtape king and shit. You not, and you, not, you and don't then, sit down and, like, and, how you not and, mention and, me? And no, but listen, I'm going to tell you my fuel. They didn't mention me in the mixtape shit. And I said, all right, now y'all just fucked up. Now y'all just, now it's another 20 years. <laughs> so now I got to, now I got to keep going. Like, maybe they won't mention me in podcasts either. Maybe they won't mention this. But I really don't give a fuck because it's not about really... Those analysts, it's like the people analysts. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, bro, I have like a real core. I don't know who got what going on. I have a real core following of people that follow no. me. Like, <laughs> I didn't buy followers and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, these people fuck with me. Like, I go to the grocery store to be normal. I go sit down with my wife to be normal. And people come up and tell me I'm a legend over and over again. I receive it. I appreciate it. But I don't focus on what I did yesterday. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's why I'm not above coming to sit with you. This mm. is a young nigga. He doing his thing. I want in. Let's go. Appreciate that. Let's see what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type that, of person sure. I am. So that a lot of people have told me, man, Screen was my first interview. Mm. I'll pull up to the college radio station because <laughs> I remember being in the college radio station, like twiddling my thumbs, like, what are we gonna talk about <laughs> this week? Ain't nobody fucking with us. Uh shit. You know what I mean? Like, so that's just that's just what's most important to me, man. Doing that, I uh, finally got a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Uh being in the community. Being in the community and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, is what's most important to me. You know what I'm saying? So I finally start, start, start. I finally just start, you know what I'm saying, putting the, appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I finally just start kind of putting the name with the brand of the foundation and community work I did, you know what I'm We're saying? Because for years I just did shit in the community from my heart, which I still do. But somebody was like, nobody's ever going to know what you did or this or that or that if you don't put some type of, so that's how the Screen Foundation came about. But, bro, there's a lot of mixed. It is. Getting back to that. You but, know that's what I'm bro, but that's there's why I wrote. That's why I wrote. Future, there's Dirty Sprite. Shouts to uh, Esco X rated. There's, there's fucking. Uh, me and Woo Kid got busy for a second. Did like a Snoop mixtape of T Pain. Like, I'm going to tell you my opinion. Tech Nine. I'm going to tell you my opinion. Please. I might, I might be wrong, though. Mm. I think uh, when we talk about the king of mixtapes, they get the credit because I think it's newer. So, what happens is a lot of people. Were, What's the saying? It ain't what you've done for me. It ain't what you have done for me lately. Yeah. Listen, let's not ever. Because you got a lot of niggas before, like, before niggas knew about them. Well, no, for sure. Let's not, let's not ever um, not understand what, and shouts to the homie, let's not ever not understand what drama and Gangsta Grills was. That not shit respect, was. And that's my dog. Yeah, yeah, respect, respect. That's my dog. Now, everything past that is. You can bring up Smalls. You can bring up so many people. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything past that is a titter and a tatter and a tatter. But how many people were able to do a mixtape project and had the respect to do a mixtape project with Gucci Man and Jeezy before they set their differences aside? Hmm. Go on, name two people. I only, could, only could think of one person that even got them to talk together, and that was on some finesse shit. That was on the radio. I think it was that was drama. drama. Yeah. yeah, but he has mixtapes with Jeezy. He has mixtapes with Gucci. I have mixtapes with Jeezy. I have mixtapes with Gucci. So let me ask you this. And that's big in the mixtape culture because you got to think some people is stop. not. Some people is not going to. Some people are not gonna do that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like oh, he be with Gucci. 
or he be with him. Or, yeah, yeah. We get we get mixed up in all that shit in the in the mixtape world. We get mm-hmm. mixtape mixed up in that shit. Mm-hmm. You just ask me, how was it with Tip? I'm still like talking to Tip. Doing work. we got to do work. Mm-hmm. At that time, you got to come through hood rich to get hot in the streets. So another thing that I also pride myself in is the fact that I did take a step back to focus on other shit and. Oh, bro, I don't want to be the old nigga in the way. Let DJ Spin shine. Let Hood Rich King shine. Let Swamp Izzo shine. Let them niggas shine. That's the type of nigga I am. Right. More of a dipset camera mentality. So I take more pride in looking up and saying, yeah. Doing your thing. I could have stood in the way and never had a Hood Rich. This, this is me. A lot of old niggas. You hear the young niggas talk about that, though. You hear so the that's young not niggas? me. Yeah. That's never been me. I've stepped out the way plenty of times. Like, bro, this Keem, Keem is, like you say, lit. This nigga lit. Mm. I'm finna get out the way because this nigga lit. You see what I'm saying? So, but in my blessing, I got to have a new obstacle. You see what I'm saying? Let me go see if I can do radio because they told me I couldn't do radio. You can't be a mixtape DJ. You didn't go to school for communications and all this shit, right? (laughs) You can't do radio. (laughs) You're not a journalist. I did it. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? The high-ranking radio show that lasted almost five years. Well, five years locally and 15 years nationally. Niggas oh, you can't do a rich, um, pod, podcast. You, what the fuck you think you're doing? You do your file. You're, you're, you're tripping. Me, Bank, Jade, the team doing a podcast. Top 10 music podcast. You can't be a fucking finance. What you fuck think? Your financial literacy is shit. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. You don't know nothing about crypto. getting crypto, crypto money, nigga. And NFT money and stock money. So... That's what I said. When you tell me I can't do some shit, which is what I wait on, mm. then I'm going to do it. Now, I'm not going to rap and do certain shit that I don't want to do, but it's like everybody should use I that as they fuel. I think we should try fuel. to break dance and 